Polisi gibi gitu mu? Mama? Ne bana ne kadar şey değil mi? कबड़े कहाँ जाते हैं? उस पर लैंडिंग करना हो, वो खड़ी है ना? हाँ हाँ सही है। अच्छा। आलू करना है मिठाई में। ऊपर से नीचे तो नीचे करता है वो। तो मिठाने में ऐसे करना रहेगा कि तुम्हारे भाई भाभी फ्री हो जाएंगे। करना। हाँ तभी करना पड़ेगा ना लेकिन। ये धीरे ना कर सकते। Now just once again folks so everybody know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to send this dog right here to take those sheep from there to here. To show everybody the dog is in charge. I want to move the sheep in different directions to the right and to the left first. And then we can come down. You didn't pay too much attention to the whistle signals you hear in the beginning because that's something I'll clarify for you as time goes by. उसी को दबा देना sheep over long journeys they would need to rest it doesn't matter how far away the dog is if it can hear me i can stop it when the dog is down there is no threat the sheep will rest you'll get to notice that as time go on again <laughs> if we're moving large numbers of sheep, we might need to send a little bit ahead. So, dogs are smiling, shepherds smiling, cheese. <laughs> Thank you. Now then, a dog has four signals to learn and to follow, and they are quite simply forward, stop, left, and right. While I'm in this position, let's deal with right and left. Each dog is trained with its own set of signals which are different. And of course when the dog is working at a distance, it's far easier to signal by whistle 
and this is your chance to listen to the difference. Hovering the dog around the sheep will allow me to move them in any direction I like. For example, With the dog behind the sheep, I can move them forward. Turn my, turn my, keep up, 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 this, up. With the dog beyond the sheep, I can bring them right back. Up, turn my, turn my, keep up, keep up, this. Place the dog to the right of the sheep, I can move them left. And of course, with the dog on the left, I can move them to the right. Keep up, 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 to my, right. up, this, up. So basically, the position of the dog will decide the direction of the sheep. This, up, 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 get out, keep up. Now hopefully all that's making sense to everybody before I make those sheep dizzy. <laughs> that was left and right, let's have a quick little look at forward and stop. Why are the sheep afraid of a dog? Dogs are descendants of predators like wolves. They have predator eyes, they walk in a predatory fashion. So with the approach of the dog, the sheep think the dog is going to catch them. I'll try and prove it to you by confronting the sheep a couple of times with more dogs. Best, up, up, up. So you can see that each time the sheep are confronted, they'll prefer to turn away from the dog. collecting sheep in reality I'll take three or maybe four dogs so I can change them if they're tired. That's why the signals need to be different. Half away. Half away. Half best. Half best. Half, half, half. Best. Half. There. Max. Here. Here, here, here. Sit down. Half away. <coughs> away. Half walk on. Good boy. Good boy. Lay down. Half best. You know, keep up. Can I go 
home, but again, it's at the weekend. He watches all of my movies. Like <laughs> now, sometimes we collect our sheep, and we might need to make a few selections. Big from small would be a reason. Lambs to go to market might be a reason. To show you that selection, I'll do it twice. Each time I select, we'll make it two sheep. So two first, two then. I need to take them out, folks, for to do it properly, and so everybody can see what I'm doing. Now, to make selections, one dog helped me separate and one collect and watch the selections. moving a group of sheep, place a dog on either side, and that will keep the group together. <laughs> Best. 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 <laughs> I'd like to give everybody a nice opportunity to photograph the dog walking after the sheep and looking at the sheep. So I want to move them from there to there as quietly as possible. So then we get rid of this fight and we start that one and then you decide for yourself. Up, best. Steady, 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 steady. 
Force use foxes for their lamb, but their wool will make tweed like a jacket or a suit. Come boy. Come boy. And sit down. Now most of you will already know that these dogs are border collies. Uh, and they walk from instinct. A hunting dog naturally hunt from instinct. They follow sheep from instinct. Because they work from instinct, male, female, no matter. For example, there is female taking the sheep back and two males doing nothing. <laughs> Train a dog fox is about six months of work, but it'll span a year and a half. They don't learn all at once, they learn in stages as they mature. It's a bit like a seven or eight year old young person isn't ready for difficult arithmetic. When this matures a bit more, yes, they will. Now the hearing of any dog, big or small, is seven times better than human by science. For example, that'll do best. And of course now some folk realize that they have dogs that don't want to hear them. <laughs> now, again I'll remind you guys that came straight in here, you didn't get to hear what I have to say about these different sheep. Stay with me. When the questions are over, we'll make our way there and deal with that. Don't worry about the people that will be leaving. Those that will be leaving have already been there and we've already done that. So don't worry about that. What would you like to know? Uh, we have three, four, and seven. Uh, at about eight or nine, they begin to slow. So we wouldn't be using them for difficult work anymore. They can do a lighter, shorter, closer work for a bit longer. Oh, this would be like, now, now, a difficult work or heavy work would be going out in a situation like you see around you there, collecting two or three hundred sheep for four or five hours of a day. Are there other dogs that are used for There are several. Australian Shepherds, Kelpies, Huntaways, Blue Healers, and I'm sure I'm omitting a few. But for our situation, we prefer the estate.
Yes, yes definitely. Mm-hmm. It's a bit like a hunting dog. A hunting dog isn't going out hunting to please you. The hunting dog is going out hunting because that's what its ancestors did when they were hungry. It's just that you've controlled it to your advantage. Same apply there. They have done nothing there today to please me. They have enjoyed themselves. If they were never trained, never supervised in getting to see that will, I would expect so. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs>